I fail to see that there is anything funny about my cousin Prunella. <laughs> well, just be happy she didn't bring one of her voracious little crocodiles. Yeah, laugh, laugh. <laughs> oh, to sneak up on you and devour listen, you in the middle listen, of the night. Listen, listen. The one person who's going to cop the most aggravation out of this is going to be you, cute stuff. I think it's only fair that I tell my landlord who's dumped this unexpected house guest on him. Oh, well, Robert, I did it for you. I mean, after all, I know what a chivalrous gentleman you are, and I know you would be devastated if poor Prunella had to spend her visit in a dumpy hotel room. Listen carefully. Listen. It's a good thing you can't see me right now, so just listen. I have one thing to say. If you... <clears throat> yes? Robert? Just when you think things can't get any worse. Did she bring a crock after all? No, no, no. She's wearing the very latest. Dirty sleeping gear. Listen, I don't have time to waste for talking to you. I'm too busy think of a revenge. He... He hung up on me. Do you think he could possibly be upset about something? Oh, why? Now, what could he possibly have to be upset about? Ah, yeah. Come on, Dunley. There are always clues. There are always clues. Just not looking in the right place, that's all. Come on. Think. Think, 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 think. <laughs> Where I left my heart. <laughs> but you got a real problem with your social life, writing it on sewer pipes, huh? <laughs> Where I left my heart. <laughs> I left my heart in San Francisco. Frisco. That means that message was left for Felicia. Come on, Donnelly, don't be stupid. Not gonna be able to find it. She took it with her. Which means she knows where the real me was supposed to be. Also means she's not coming back. So what do you do? What else can you do? Go to her place. Hope that she's back there, and if she isn't, and you wait. He's not moving, is he? No, no, he isn't. Do you, do you think that he's, you know, dead? I don't know. I've got to get to him. He's got Frisco's ring. Are you sure? Yes. He showed it to me when he was trying to prove to me he'd been with Frisco. I've got to get to him. Stay back. Our friend with the rifle is probably still out there. How can you be sure? I'll tell you one way. That might help flush him out. <laughs> well, now we know. Mm -hmm. I was hoping maybe you had an idea. That gun, if we got 9 millimeter automatic, that means it's got 15 rounds. Hopefully there's a couple left. Well, what good will that do us? The only chance we've got is if I can get my hands on that gun. I'm going to need you to create a diversion, all right? You're not going out there. Look, that guy's not going to stay up there forever. He's going to come down here hunting. He's not going to fall for the same diversion, so we've got to give him something to look at. I'll tell you what, when I kill you, mm -hmm. I want you to throw your hand up, maybe mm -hmm. cast a shadow up on the wall, he might go for that. Okay? Okay. W what if it doesn't fool him? Well, then I just run a little faster. You could be killed. Uh, been tried. Please be careful, I'm afraid for you. Mm -hmm. I'm a little nervous myself, so what do you say we get this one? Okay? Mm -hmm. Ready? probably think I'm terribly boring, Cousin Robert, and I know Americans never sleep until the wee hours of the morning, but if I remember correctly, it is now, just at this moment, tomorrow morning back home. 
Oh, is it yesterday morning? Well, you know, whatever. You know, I've lost all track of all time. Oh, and I hope you don't mind me helping myself to the linen. You know, because I was in the bathroom and I noticed she didn't have any face cloth. So I found the linen closet. Oh, my God, I've never, ever seen so many bed fittings in my whole life. So I was sure you wouldn't mind if I just sorted some things out. And anyway, don't mind me, because I just yabber on and on, you know. It must come from being in a house full of people and everyone talking at the same time. You remember what it was like, don't you? Oh, oh my God. I must look a dreadful fright. Not the way that Americans dress for bed on telly, is it? No, no, no. It's actually, it's very refreshing. As pretty as a picture. Picture? That's the shot? A picture of me on my first night in America. You don't mind, do you, Cousin Robert? Now, look, listen. You just look through here, right? Mm -hmm. And then you just press there. Have you got it? Okay, but not there until I'm ready, all right? Okay. Okay. Too close. Get back, get back. You know, you make sure you get back far enough so everybody can see how huge the room is. Remember, we don't have rooms like this back at home. No, no, no. The back of the Maybe I should go in the street. Oh, no. I don't think that's going to be necessary. Ah, get out of it. You're just pulling my leg, aren't you? I've got, well, maybe just a little half an inch further back. Yeah, that's it. So a little bit more. Perfect. So don't forget to tell me when to say cheese. Say six. Yeah. Felicia. 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 It's Sean. Yes, I'll be spending the night in Port Charles. That's right. And tell Father I think I've gotten Duke convinced to spend more time in New York. That's right. It is much too important for him to be flying back and forth all the time. All right, then. I will. Thank you, Phil. One problem. And now there's Cheryl and Scorpio. Of all the people for her to fall for, why did it have to be him? Well, I'll just have to work around it. Reduced to sitting around in the evening drinking tea. Oh, I wouldn't mind having tea at all. Good. Champagne doubt. If oh. there could be such a thing. <laughs> Hardly. It doesn't seem like Robert takes teasing too well. You know, that is exactly why it's so much fun to pull a prank on him. <laughs> <laughs> Underneath it all, he is the most warm, charming, sweet human being, and he works so hard to try to hide it. You know, if he couldn't be grumpy about Cousin Prunella, I don't think he'd know how to deal with it. Mm -hmm. And then, and then, he gives me the most classic sourpuss face and says, you know, I'm armed and dangerous when crossed. <laughs> oh, it just makes me want to grab him. <laughs> Do I detect, shall we say, more than a passing interest in this man? 
Does it really show that much? Mm -hmm. Mm hmm If you were a kitten, you'd be purring. <sighs> I feel silly. Um, after Julian, I really didn't think that I could feel this strongly about anyone. I didn't believe it, you know. Believe what? You, after the funeral, when you told me that I should put the past aside and get on with the rest of my life. I think what I told you was to not close yourself off to a new love interest. I remember. Is that what this is, love? Maybe. I don't know. We're both still nursing hurts. His wife died in a plane crash. Maybe we're just helping each other get over our grief. Anyway, we've got lots of time. I, I have to deal with my health problem, first of all. Which is? Which is under control. Not cured, but under control. And which is not my favorite topic of conversation. I have to deal with it, but fortunately I don't have to talk about it. I understand. Um, does it ever bother you that Robert is a policeman? Yeah, sometimes. That he might find out who Julian was. Well, more that he just won't understand. There aren't very many shades of gray in Robert's world. Especially where organized crime is concerned, I guess. You know, I thought about telling him, just so that he wouldn't think I was trying to hide anything. From what you've said, it might be very difficult to explain to him. Could he understand that you could be so close to Julian Jerome and not be part of the underworld yourself? To tell the truth, it's not just my connection to Julian that worries me. He's gone. Frankly, it includes my connection with you. Anna was just curled up there on the sofa. She was looking at the ceiling. She looked so fragile. I, I just watched her through the window. She didn't move at all. The only thing I wanted to do was just go inside and put my arms around her and tell her everything would be all right. And I felt like something was... something was dying between us and... there wasn't a thing I could do about it, not one thing. What did you do? What could I do? I just walked away. It's up to Anna. She's got to make the next move. Boss. You're taking a big risk. What if she goes to the cops? What difference does it make? I think... risked the only thing that mattered and I lost. Boss, think of the consequences. If Scorpio gets involved, you not only lose your liquor license to this place, but you end up in the slammer. Oh, come on. Do you think I care about that? What difference does any of it make? If I've lost Anna, I don't care about anything else. Boss, at least talk to her. I can't do that. I, I cannot talk to her. What am I going to say to her after all the lies I've told her? Club Duke. Hi, it's Duke. Just wondering how things are going. Uh, I'm not sure I understand, boss. Well, what kind of business are you doing tonight? Duke, it's Monday. We're closed on Monday. Yeah, of course you're closed on Mondays. Hey, I'm sorry, I'm just a little tired, Rodolfo. <laughs> I'll forgive him, boss. Don't worry about it. Come to think of it, what are you doing in there on your day off? I like to come in while it's quiet and catch up on the paperwork. No interruptions that way. No, although you work so hard, why don't you just close up and go home to your family? Okay, but look who's talking. I'll bet you're not calling from home. No, you're right. Hey, I'll talk to you later. Hey, but listen, while I've got you here, uh, Olivia's arranging a few appointments for me uh, later in the week. Maybe I'd like to take some time to talk to you. Good. I need to uh, talk to you about putting on another bartender. We're doing better business than I expected. Okay, I'll keep a couple of bars free. Go on home, get out of there, huh? Will do. If you need me, I'll be in the office right here. Right, boss. Bye. Bye. 
He's a good man. Hey, hey, boss. Maybe we ought to think about closing on Monday night, huh? Are you serious? Well, I know, like I was saying, on Monday night we got a very big crowd. I mean, you know, if we close, we lose a lot of business. Matter of fact, we make a lot of business on Monday night. Maybe you and I ought to go down and see how things are running, huh? You go on down, I'll come down later. I've got nowhere else to go. Thank you.